What it is guys, today I'm going to show you three ways to get the most out of your crankbaits. One easy thing that you can do to get the most out of your crankbait is to file the lip of the crankbait. So you want to get that lip as sharp as you can get it without affecting the strength of the lip. Because if you file it too thin, then it will, if you hit a rock or if you hit a, a stump, it'll be a lot easier for that lip to break. So you just want to kind of bring it down enough to where it kind of digs in the water deeper, but not too much where it'll just break pretty easily. Easier way to do this is with a Dremel, but I don't have a Dremel, so I'm going to be using this file. I don't know if you could tell, but I made like a 45 on the lip of this crankbait, like right there, you can kind of see the 45 before it was rounded on the bottom there. So this little 45, angle will help it dig deeper into the water column. See this is rated for four foot of water, but now that I did that, it'll probably go maybe six if I use the right kind of line and everything. That could be a big difference of catching fish or not. If this thing only goes four, the fish is in six, bring it down a little bit, boom. Find some more fish. Now you could use different size BBs. Uh, if you have a big enough crankbait, you could use this big big old one here but what I would use is these tiny little ones they're about the size it's I think it's 530 seconds so what you want to do is find the smallest drill bit that you have and drill in front of the crankbait the front portion of it so now if it's a two chamber crankbait all the BBs will be in the front which will help it fall naturally and not back here where it'll fall, it wouldn't fall naturally. So you're gonna find, this, find the center of it, drill. Okay, so <laughs> this particular crankbait is full balsa wood. So what you're gonna do is, you can't use it on this one, but on plastic crankbaits, mm, like this one, This one here, the one's made out of plastic work. So we're gonna use this one instead and throw away that one. Oh! Oh! How? Don't do that. Make sure you take off the hooks before you do this. It's now I'm bleeding. So after stabbing myself with the hook and the drill bit, got a band-aid, I'm all good. All right, so now, what you want to do after you drill your hole and not stab yourself, let's go ahead and put your BBs inside the hole. Now I'm probably going to put like, about the size of this, I'll probably put four or five in there. Alright, now I got a, now I got BBs in there. So now the way to seal that hole up is to get some either epoxy, but at, right now I have this just regular 100% silicone. So what we'll do is just put some silicone on it. Let's close that hole up. Make sure it's all the way sealed up. Let it dry. Let it dry and then just sand it down to where it's smooth and you're good to go. That was a mess. Just be careful with using a drill bit around hooks because that wasn't <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't pretty. I got a band-aid because of that. Because it wouldn't stop bleeding. Was, Take off your hooks first, drill your hole, then put in your BBs.
But anyways, as I was saying, depending on the size of the crankbait that you're using, choose what kind of sound you want. If it's a big enough crankbait where you can use this bigger, where you can use this bigger uh, ball bearing for a deeper sound, go for it. But you, you can use all different kinds of sizes uh, BBs for this. You could use these little tiny ones like I used in this one because it was the right size for this and it makes a good sound. Or you can go a little bit bigger, add a few less than that. It all really depends on how you want it to sound. If you want a lot of rattle or if you just want one deep rattle like some of the crankbaits have, how fast you want it to sink. But yeah, you can just play around with it, see what works best in your area. And there you go, that's the second way. Not a very safe way, but the second way to get the most out of your crankbait. Okay, for the third and final way to get the most out of your crankbait is the Carolina rig it. This is very simple. It's a lot safer than using a drill bit. <laughs> but it's really simple. If you already know how to Carolina rig, then this is kind of a no-brainer. But I'm going to show you anyways. First, pretend this line is coming off your, your spool. Your, your reel. So what you do is you take out a good amount of line off your main line, say maybe three foot or so. Again, it really depends on your area that you want to use it in. Take a one ounce weight and then slide it onto your main line. So now you got that one ounce weight. Now you could put some kind of beads on there if you want, like this green bead. It's probably, you can't see it, but here, anyways. And then you're gonna tie on a swivel. All right. Now I'm gonna tie on that line that you cut off earlier, that three foot piece of line, and tie it on the other side of the swivel. All right, so now you have a one ounce weight, a bead, a swivel, and then this part of the line, and then you're gonna tie in your crankbait. And there you go. Now you have this one ounce weight with this bead protecting the knot. You don't have to have that there, but it'll create some sound when you're dragging it through the bottom. The swivel, three foot of line, and then your crankbait. So now when you're dragging this one ounce weight across the bottom, this crankbait will fall along and then you can drag it slow. It'll stay in one spot the whole time because it'll stay float. You have a better chance of catching the fish because it'll stay in the strike zone longer. It, it won't float up to the top. You can, you can fish an area a lot longer than you would normally just toss in a crankbait at the same spot 15 times. This will just stay there in front of their nose. They'll get mad and they'll bite it. Another little bead that you could use to put on uh, the Carolina rig is this bead that has rattles in it already. So not only it creates sound from the weight in the plastic hitting, but it also has little beads in it to create a different little sound. So yeah, that's one little cool thing that you could use. There's all kinds of different things you could use on anything really. I mean, this Carolina rig, you can put, you could put a blade, you could put a, a spinner bait blade on there to create some flash. It's something different that the fish haven't seen. So just be creative with the stuff that you want to make and just go out there and see if it works. I mean, it's, you can't lose. There's no way you can lose. I mean, all you can do is try and if it works, there you go. If it didn't work the first time, don't be afraid to try the second time. That's all I got for you today. Carolina rig your, your crankbait, add weight to your crankbait, and then file down the lip of your crankbait. Those three things will help get the most out of your crankbait. And I wonder how many times I've said crankbait. Be careful using a drill bit or you'll end up like me and then stabbing yourself and bleeding all over the place. 
So don't do that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the bottom. Not only I hope you enjoyed, but I hope you learned something from me. Do this little crappy how-to video. But anyways, subscribe if it's subscribed. Leave a like on the bottom. Be careful with drill bits and hooks, and I'll catch you in the next one. put this uh, weather stripping on this table so these ball bearings won't roll off the table.